this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. And so here's a fun way to make uh, our own Halloween decorations. Uh, let's crochet this uh, easy spider web. So um, I happen to have this nice picture frame. Um, it's with, uh, it's uh, lined with fabric, so I can use these really tiny pins to attach, to pin my spider web on it. And I also had a spider at home to live in one of these webs. And uh, before we start, I want to show you my new crochet set that I just received from uh, B Crafty. So this is a beautiful heart case and it has all the tools inside. Total of 31 pieces here. So starting with nine crochet hooks. Um, so the smallest 2.25 millimeters all the way up to six millimeters. And these are Nice and ergonomic hooks, very comfortable to work with. Um, then also here is the gauge measure ruler. It has inches and centimeters. Always need one of those. And then here is this little pouch that you can remove. It's, it attaches with these snaps. So you can take it out, but it's really good to have it right here. And we have some more things in here. So we have some uh, scissors. Uh, they're folding scissors, so really, really nice to bring with you when traveling this way. And then of course the stitch markers. A lot of my projects need these. Then this is a row counter. I've never used that, so I'm very interested to see how this works. Uh, so these are some stitch folders. Sometimes need these as well. And then uh, sewing needles. Always need these. There's like about six of them in here and measuring tape does this one i use with all my projects to show how uh, how big they are so um as you see it's a really convenient uh, way to keep all your all your uh, crochet tools in one place and bring them with you when going somewhere and um, I'm going to have the link uh, in the video description box. So if you're interested, and if you like this ca uh, case, you can uh, buy your own. And now let's get started with the spider web. And uh, for my Halloween project, I chose the orange hook. And that one is 3.25 millimeters. And I'm going to use this purple Halloween color for the tutorial because it's going to be easier to follow than the black color. And this one is also Aunt Lydia's uh, crochet thread size 3. And we start with magic ring. So place the thread across your fingers and fold it around your index finger and make an X and then insert your hook through underneath the first strand and pull, pull the second one through here, pull it up, take the finger out and from here we can start the stitches. So we need to do five chains first one two three four five the first three count as double crochet and then two chains and now double crochet in the ring and chain 
two double crochet chain two double crochet chain two we need eight double crochets one two three four five chain two six seven and eight and now i'm going to pull my ring tight pulling the thread tail so i'm gonna pull it all tight so there's no hole showing here and I'm going to finish my first round with a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. One, two, three, here. And on round two, we're going to make the V stitches in each double crochet. And so now uh, each round will start the same. We chain four, this counts as double crochet and one chain and double crochet in that same stitch, same space. Then chain three and make the V stitch in the next double crochet. So it's uh, one double crochet one chain and double crochet in the same space same stitch and chain three and the v-stitch in the next double crochet double crochet one chain double crochet chain three and repeat this all around and we finish round two with a slip stitch in the third beginning chain and now for round three and for each next round first slip stitch in that one chain space and from here we can start the beginning v chain so chain four and double crochet in the same space and next chain two and now we need to do a half double crochet stitch in that three chain space chain two and V stitch in the next one chain space. So the V stitches are all on top of each other. And then again, chain two, half double crochet in three chain space. Chain two and V stitch in the next one chain space. And repeat this all around and again we finish the round with a slip stitch in third beginning chain and starting the fourth round first slip stitch in the next chain space and to the beginning V stitch chain four double crochet in the same space and now chain three and half double crochet in that half double crochet of, of previous round. Chain three and make V stitch in the next one chain space. Chain three, half double crochet in the next half double crochet stitch chain three and v stitch in here and repeat and i finished round four with slip stitch in a third beginning chain starting round five slip stitch in chain space beginning v chain so four chains one double crochet now chain four three four and half double crochet in the next 
half double crochet here, chain four, and V stitch. Chain four, half double crochet, chain four, and repeat this for round five, round six, slip stitch next space, beginning V chain, then chain five. Three, four, five. So you see how these rounds repeat each time. On each round, we just uh, make one more chain here, add one more chain. So now five here is the half double crochet, then five chains, three, four, five, and V stitch. And repeat and now uh, repeat these rounds until you have uh, 12 rounds uh, meaning you you have 11 chains here and then we can uh, do the last 13th round together I made 12 rounds and uh, you can make the spider web bigger by adding the rounds, uh, just uh, add one chain on each round here. So round 12 I had 11 chain and now I'm going to make my last round with the long loops. I start the same. Chain three, that's for the beginning double crochet and now uh, I'm going to make my shorter loop I'm going to chain 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so this is the same V stitch instead of one chain I chained 20 and now double crochet in the same space. And next I need to do now 12 chains. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then half double crochet in here as before. But now we're also going to do a four chain pico. So chain four, three, four. I'm going to insert my hook in the stitch below, not the chain, but this in a stitch. The half double crochet stitch. Make my pico. I slip stitched. And then again, chain 12, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now we start the V stitch double crochet in the next space and now I'm going to do the longer loop so here shorter one has 20 chains the longer one has 40 1 2 3 4 and 40 chains I'm going to now double crochet in that same space and now just repeat 12 chains Half double crochet stitch and four chain pico in here like we did here then 12 chains and then next make the shorter loop 20 chains and then you repeat this part and then again you make the longer loop with 40 chains so you have total four shorter loops four longer loops and these long ones as well as the short ones they're great to then pin the spider web on the board and I finished 13 rounds here my last uh, 12 chains I'm going to find the beginning third chain on this first loop 
one, two, three, and just slip stitch. And then cut off, fasten off, and we're finished. So you can make these uh, loops longer or shorter, just the way you need. And you can also add rounds to your spider web if you need it bigger. And here I want to show you, um, I already pinned my black spider web on my board. I have this nice uh, frame with a fabric here and and the uh, board so that you can um, stick your pins in it. So that is perfect for the spider web. And so this one fits great on my frame. I'm going to add a smaller white spider web here next to it. So let's see how this will look. And here is my smaller uh, spider web. Uh, so for this one, I used uh, crochet thread size 10 and crochet hook size 2.75 millimeters. So just in case you'd like to make two of these different ones. And uh, these spider webs are really great because you can stretch them uh, by these uh, loops into a shape that you prefer and so here I keep adding these uh, funny stickers to my frame because I want to add some Halloween vibes so I hope you'll have fun making your own spider web let me know if you have any questions I'm happy to help and happy crocheting